Ariel Helwani in New York City getting set for UFC 244 alongside rising star Edmund Shabazian who meets Brad Tavares this Saturday on the ESPN prelims. Good to see you, my friend. And I understand first time ever in New York. Is that true? First time ever in New York. I've been to the East Coast once to Boston, but first time in New York. What do you think so far? I love it, you know. Fa everything's like fast paced here, so it's cool. Now, when you found out you were fighting at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, what was your reaction? Um, I was like, no way, you know, like such a historic arena. I'm just blessed for the opportunity. Yeah. Did you think that this stuff would happen this soon in your UFC career? Or did you think it would take longer to get to a venue like this? I think the way I'm performing and uh, the performances I'm doing, uh, they put you on a fast track, you know, so I knew it's coming. You like being on the fast track? Oh, yeah, I love it. You know, I, you know, once you get to the UFC, it's all good competition, so you have to be ready for everything, and that's how it is. And perhaps this is maybe your most seasoned opponent, right? Brad Tavares has been around, but he hasn't fought in over a year. What are you expecting to see from him? Um, you know, I, ho I hope he comes in 100% because I'm expecting a 100% version of him. But, you know, that being said, um, I feel like I match up very well against him. He's a great opponent, tough, durable opponent. But um, I've been doing MMA from a young age, you know, been doing competing in all the aspects of MMA from a young age. And I believe um, that's a big advantage for me in this fight. Your head coach, Edmund Tarverdian, has been on big stages before. He's been, you know, involved in big fights with Ronda Rousey, of course. Do you talk to him about these moments, like, you know, about the, the nerves, the jitters? Are you that kind of guy, or do you just talk technique? Uh, mostly, like, yeah, we talk about everything, you know, but, like, the nerves and stuff, I like the nerves, you know. I like the pressure and stuff. When, when, all, as much pressure as there is, I thrive under it, and I love it, yeah. It never gets to you? No, you know, like, of course, whenever I was first starting to compete, it would get to me a little bit, but you get used to it, and I started to love it. Really? Yeah. So right now, are you feeling nervous? No, 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 I'm, like, hyped, you know. <laughs> You're smiley, you're happy to be here. You wouldn't want to be anywhere in the world. No, this is my favorite place right now. One thing I always wanted to ask you, when you first came to the UFC, the story was that Ronda's your manager. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's accurate. That's accurate. She actually like negotiates your deals? Yeah, her, her, and Ed, her and Edmund do it. Really? Yeah. What is that like? What is that like? What is she like as a manager? I think it's very cool, you know, having a like, legend manage you, you know, so, such a big name like Ronda Rousey. and. I, I, it's, I'm honored to be managed by her, and she's a great manager. <laughs> Are you her only client? Right now, for, for right now, yeah, but she has boxers. So she has a couple of the boxers to, from our gym, yeah. Is she coming to the fight? Um, that, I don't know. I hope so. Hope, yeah. Or may, maybe maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Did we'll she find. talk to you before the fights about the moments and the big stage and all that stuff? I, like, usually, yeah, she'll, I'll, te I'll text her, and usually after fights, fight, she'll call me or text me, too. But I saw her a couple weeks ago. She came by the gym, and... We talked, you know, it was good to see her. I hadn't seen her in a minute. So it was good catching up with her. So you beat Brad Tavares. Where do you think that places you in the middleweight division? Um, definitely, I think it places me in like the top 10 area. Yeah. And I like the competition there, you know. I, I love competitive fights, so I'm excited for it. I, I just want to like make, make statements and keep improving. Do you have to cut a lot of weight like now? How many pounds left? You know, it's funny. T today morning, I have like five pounds left. Wow. Crazy, yeah. But, good I, news. but I usually cut a lot of weight, you know, I cut down a good amount. So it's the best one? Probably the best one, yeah. That means maybe you could go out for Halloween tonight? Possibly, yeah. yeah. You got plans? No plans, but since you said it. Halloween in New York is insane. It is? Yeah, I don't know if you know this. It gets really freaky. Oh, on Times Square, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm down to go down you tonight. see a lot of strange folks. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.